Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, the month of June officially wrapped up over this past weekend, and that said, here's a look at how things panned out during the month. Our highest temperature coming back on the 18th at 89 degrees, and therefore we have yet to officially reach 90 degrees for the first time this year so far here in Eau Claire. As for that lowest temperature, that was 43 back on the morning of the 10th, and as far as our average temperature for June, we were actually right where we need to be, basically uh, right around 67 degrees. Now, when it comes to precipitation, we did phenomenal there, picking up uh, quite a bit, which in some instances was not so good because we did have some of those flooding concerns. Uh, we had nearly seven and a quarter inches of rainfall, and that put us 2.43 inches above where we need to be. Now, turning the page to July on average, we still expect a good amount, around 3.61 inches of precipitation here in Eau Claire. And you'll notice as far as our averages go, we actually see those peak this month as well. While we're at 82 and uh, 59 for the average high and low respectively, towards the middle of July, we see that average briefly sneak up to around 83, but then from there, it drops back down to around 82 on the 31st. Our average low peaks at 60 towards the end of the month, and I'm sure you probably don't want to hear this, but unfortunately, we do start to slowly lose daylight while our sunset this evening is at 8.56. It's going to be down to around 8.32 by the end of July. Now, looking at our weather through the week ahead, uh, we are going to continue to have near to even below average temperatures. Those highs consistently from the 70s to the low 80s. And the pattern is going to favor more of those on and off chances of showers and storms. The first of which will be arriving overnight tonight. But we're tracking more of those right through the late half of the week. And unfortunately, right around the 4th of July. Right now, it's at least a slight chance of a few showers and storms. But timing wise would put those during the afternoon and evening, of course, when a lot of us are having get togethers and doing some fireworks, but we're going to, have to closely watch that. Just be sure to keep it here. We'll give you that first alert to those changes. Through the overnight hours, we did have an area of high pressure drifting over the upper Midwest. That has since then started pushing away to the east. Now we're into that breezy south and southeasterly flow. But notice off to the west, we do have a storm system that will slowly start to inch this way. And that's what's going to bring those showers and storms later on tonight. But through the afternoon, do expect a mix of sun and clouds out there before that cloud cover does thicken up this evening. And I do think currently around, if not after midnight, those showers and storms do start to work in over spreading all of western Wisconsin. Could even see some heavy rainfall out of this right into early tomorrow morning. Once that slides off to the east, we do get into a break. And then towards the afternoon, there could be some redeveloping scattered showers and storms through the early half of tomorrow night. And then those clouds do start to decrease with plenty of sunshine on Wednesday. Now, as far as rainfall amounts from tonight through tomorrow evening, uh, anywhere between a half inch up to an inch and a half will be possible. Our high this afternoon at 76. We're around 74 degrees on Tuesday, and then we do climb up into the low 80s on Wednesday. Today's Sunshine Award goes to Dr. Kristen Wall from Jay and Amy Chartrand. They write, Dr. Kristen is awesome, not only at her job, but she understands your pain. She's very professional, and she fixes you right up. If you would like to nominate someone for the Sunshine Award, send us an email or head to our website at weau.com.